New York has voted to ban pea bass, which is great news because it's already in their water systems. So which are the most common food packaging categories that contain PFAS? Well, I'm gonna share that with you. And you're probably gonna be surprised as to how often you've been exposed to PFAS. Alright folks, my name is Elish P. This is Food Packaging TV, the best place to be. So it's official like Cardinal in New the legislators have passed a bill now banning the manufacturing, sale, and distribution of food packaging containers that contain PFAS chemicals. This is a quick reminder, PFAS or polyfluoro alkyl substances are used in packaging to obtain that grease resistant quality for all your hot and greasy foods. They're called forever chemicals because they never really go away. In fact, they accumulate in the environment over time, which is why New York has contaminated water with PFAS and they have moved to ban PFAS from the food packaging because they will be a means of exposure to the chemical and PFAS has a known detrimental effect on the human body and adverse effects on your kidney, your thyroid and hormones and they're even linked to causing testicular cancer and kidney cancer. It also creates a long-term problem. These PFAS laden products are disposed in the compost or garbage because the packaging breaks down but it also releases the PFAS in the environment leading to the contamination of the soil and air and water, which is what's happening in New York. According to a study by Safer Chemicals and Healthy Families, along with an advocacy group called Toxic Free Future, they had studied six top supermarkets in the U.S., including Kroger, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods. I've attached a link to that paper below, but here is a breakdown of the top five food packaging categories that contain PFAS. Get ready for this. So these are in no particular order, starting at number one. Take out containers. They include the fourfold boxes. Now, not all fourfold boxes will contain PFAS. They made it very clear that there are some brands that use special formulas such as Cascade Sunoco's Flex Shield, which is a proprietary coating technology and is compostable. But on the flip side, there are cartons that are polylined, which is polyethylene. It's a plastic liner that used to achieve grease and water resistance, but it's no longer compostable. Under the same category of takeout containers are molded fiber clamshells. The Center for Environmental Health found that molded fiber products consistently tested for fluorine. Number two, bakery or deli items, starting with paper wrapping for sandwiches. Now, brown sandwich wrap may or may not have PFAS, depending on which brand you buy. So please ask your distributors to verify that there are no PFAS chemicals in your sandwich wrap. The next one in this category are paper bakery bags or cardboard boxes. The same applies here. They did find high fluorine content in these items, but you can find products that are fluorine free in the market. The third one in this category are cake boards. If you're using gold or silver laminated cake boards, they may be likely treated with PFAS to hold that grease resistant look on the board. Again, ask your suppliers for more details. Number three, single use plates. If you find plates that are marked grease resistant, it's a high probability that it contain PFAS. And that also includes bamboo. If you've ever seen it advertised as free from added dyes or chlorine whitening, PFAS. Number four, trays for cook at home foods. What they tested were cardboard circles underneath refrigerated items for pizza or even paper trays holding microwave safe or microwavable pasta. And all of these were fluorine free, but do note that microwave popcorn has the highest contaminations of PFAS and that's something to stay away from. And at number five, we've got baking or cooking supplies. Now these include baking cups, rolls of parchment paper, and non-stick aluminum foil, and wrappers for butters of all things. Now all these items, they tested fluorine free, but noted in the study, the European Union analysis of PFAS for food contact materials, 24% of butter wrappers tested positive for the fluorine. So what's my recommendation? I'll tell you next week. Stay tuned. We're going to be covering a brand new line of products from Eco Products called Vanguard. And yes, they're all PFAS free. And that's all for Food Packaging TV. Thank you for joining me. My name is Elash P. Please do the subscribes, the likes, the shares, the comments. Let's hug it out. We'll see you in seven. Because, you know, every Monday, right? Me and you together.